Caribbean Summer is a 2022 film. This is directed by Stephen R. Munro and is written by Kelly Bow and Arlene Gibbs. And it stars Heather Hemmings as Jade and Sir Darius Blaine as Ford. And I wouldn't say it's a bad film necessarily, but I also wouldn't say I have bits that were okay. And I'll talk about those bits without any spoilers in a moment. But I didn't finish the film feeling completely satisfied. And I think mostly... It's because of the pacing. It was very slow. It felt like it was dragging its feet at times. And that meant that, yes, while it meant the good bits were a celebration because I was enjoying those bits, it did mean that I was starting to get weary of it. So when the good bits did arrive, it was less satisfaction and more relief. So it's not amazing. There is definitely room for improvement. But the setting is gorgeous. It's filmed in Belize. And it is absolutely stunning visually. So if you like films that look amazing, this one is one that will appeal. That absolutely works well. The performances are really good as well. But the characters are, despite the mystery element, which I'll talk about in a moment, I feel like the characters were a little bit flat. This is about Jade, who ends up going on vacation. And while there, she... Well, she gets into a bit of a, a sticky situation, and this is established very quickly, that she was scammed. And I kind of wish that's more what the film was about. But she was scammed into renting this apartment, and it turns out when she gets there, in a, a pretty well-executed scene, I have to say, unbelievable, but well done, that somebody was living there. It was their house, and obviously this was a scam. She didn't rent this apartment but she ends up staying anyway, and as I said, it does seem a little bit unbelievable. But then it's all about this relationship that develops with the character of Ford, but there is a mystery surrounding the character's past, and I guess who he used to be. And to begin with, I thought that mystery was quite interesting, but the more we learned about it, the less I cared. So for me personally, it didn't go in the direction that I necessarily hoped it would, but if that appeals to you, then that's fine. It might be more to some people's tastes than mine. So there's nothing specifically wrong with the film. It's not like we have bad acting or bad setting. The scenery is gorgeous. The characters are a little bit dull, I have to say. Even despite that mystery element, I just found them, especially Jade. I didn't think Jade was very interesting at all. Ford is a little bit more interesting. Definitely more likable, more well-written character. But neither of them particularly caught my attention. I didn't really care about following either of their journeys. And I don't really need that when it comes to films. I'm more narrative driven than I am character driven. But because the narrative was slow, I was relying on the characters. And the characters weren't that interesting. So I just, I didn't love it. There isn't anything, as I said, that's specifically bad. But there is a lot of room for improvement. But visually, it's absolutely stunning. So if it sounds like it would appeal to you, then I'd say give it a go. It's not the worst thing you could watch. But it's not one that I'd be watching again. Once was enough. Caribbean Summer is not dreadful, but I certainly didn't love it.